Hi guys, welcome to Talk To Me Tuesday for Tuesday, December 6, 2016. This is Jennifer. I have three things to share with you guys today. First of all, um, I am going to a costume party with my husband on the 16th. His company is having a Christmas party that is Venetian masquerade ball themed. We like going in costume. Last year's was um, a 1920s themed party, so we went in very 1920s um, outfits and it was really fun. We had a good time. This year we were trying to figure out how we were going to do Venetian just because it's not something you can just go to the thrift store and put together some pieces. We we're doing a combination of like purchase pieces, some um, thrift store pieces, and some handmade pieces and also some serious reconstruction. I think we found out about this party two weeks ago. First we did some research and I was at the end of finishing my block of the month for, for this year so I was finishing up my favorite things and I was like, I can't focus any creative energy on this until that's done. Well, you know, that finished last week. I am gearing up for 2017, but I'm taking this week solid just to work on getting our costumes ready. So hopefully I will have them done by next week and then I next week I can go back to working on my quilty stuff. So he found a vest that he really liked online and got this black and gold vest and then he he has found a shirt that he liked. He's pretty much set as far as that goes but we couldn't find pants that worked for him because he's uh, almost six and a half feet tall and it's really hard to find anything long enough. What we ended up doing was I found, um, I did some pattern research and I wanted something from like simplicity or somewhere so it'd be super easy couldn't find anything even remotely like what I wanted that was in stock that was the big thing was getting it in stock simplicity just so you guys know now has a thing where you can you can order out of print patterns and they will print them for you and send them to you it's on their website but I didn't have time for that what I did was as I ordered um, this pattern from laughing moon mercantile and I'm basically making these breeches right here these are all the same the the primary difference is the length of the legs and like how they're closed like these are closed with buttons these have ties and they're higher and these would have been formal pants so I'm basically making these but I'm making them in gold because that's what he wanted. So we went to Joanne's this weekend and we did a bit of searching to find what he needed. We found this crushed gold velvet and so basically this is like one front of the pants. This is all I've got. I've gotten the fronts this far. Um, I just started yesterday. It took me forever to cut out all the pieces because 20 pattern pieces for these bad boys. Um, and as you guys know, 20 pattern pieces doesn't mean 20 pieces of fabric because we've got lining, we've got interfacing, etc. So anyway, this is as far as I've gotten. And this is like, this is the fall. This is the part that you open and there will be buttons here. And then it actually has, you can see there's a pocket. As soon as I finish my work today, I am working on these hardcore. I'm hoping to get them done tomorrow, if at all possible because I also need to work on my costume. We went thrifting and I tried on a ridiculous amount of clothing trying to find something that I could adapt to make a Venetian masquerade ball type outfit and I couldn't find anything and I couldn't find anything and I like three different thrift stores because I was not gonna pay crazy money for a dress that I was gonna go home and cut up. We got home, I had tried on this dress and I kept thinking about it, but I couldn't zip it because it had been altered to remove, almost entirely remove the bust line and that is something that I have to have. So I kept thinking about this dress and I started doing looking at more pictures online and I found this simplicity pattern that I really liked. And I was like, I wish I had two months so I could make this dress, but I don't. I have less than two weeks at this point because I have to make allowances for Linus and possibly going and picking my son up from college. So I don't have two solid weeks. I have about a week and a half. I saw this picture and I was like, I showed it to my husband. I was like, you know, I can do this with that one dress I tried on. And we went back and got it. And then we went to Joanne's to buy his fabric and then I bought some fabric too. So here's the dress. It's hideous. Um, I'm gonna guess 1980s prom, maybe 90s. It's this black dress with these ridiculous sleeves. See that you can, I don't know if you can tell or not because it's black, but it's been altered so that this, the front's almost completely flat. So that doesn't work for me. But anyway, so the plan is I'm gonna take these like crazy bows off. I am going to leave this elastic but I'm going to take this elastic out, possibly rehem that, and then I'm going to put elastic in the middle so that this is open and flared. And then I'm hopefully going to put some lace or something down here just to give it like a, a lacy thing because those come down 
to like my elbows. So have like a big open sleeve here. And then for the front to take care of the problem that I was having, I'm actually gonna split this dress right down the middle, all the way down to the floor. And I'm going to make an inset with this fabric. So my plan is, I think this is the right side. I'm not sure if this is inside out or not. Anyway, I will uh, figure that out later. But anyway, so see how it has this pattern here? I wanna take this pattern and do it like the, like a v-shape basically i will fit it so that i have a v-shape of that and then there will be an upside down v-shape in the skirt that goes all the way down to the floor so that it has like that hourglass shape from the top to the bottom made out of the other fabric i got a ton of trims so i just got like anything gold and black i used like six coupons at joanne's i got stuff that was on sale this is a ribbon that has gold on it this is just solid black in case i need that i got some braid this one is actually my favorite if at all humanly possible i will have both his pants and my dress completed my goal is Sunday night. If I can get it done by Sunday night so that I can get on with doing other stuff next week and then the party is Friday the 16th. And then I have Linus on Saturday the 17th and it's our last meeting of the year so we're having our holiday party. So it's gonna be a really busy like next two weeks. Is, they're just gonna be crazy. Last but not least, as you can see, I have paper piecing vintage on the wall today. This is my 2014 version of this quilt and I put it up for some inspiration since this is the 2017 quilt along on So Hooked. I had quite a few people ask me if I would redo this as um, a quilt along or a block of the month or whatever so that they could pull theirs out and finish their original quilt. If you already have this pattern, you are set. If you don't have it, it's in my Etsy shop, it's in my Craftsy shop and it will be the same pattern. This pattern includes 12 blocks, two sizes, some bonus blocks, so you actually get more than the 24 patterns, plus you get the borders, plus you get the layout. It's the whole thing, so you get it all in one pattern. I'm really looking forward to it. I love this quilt. I had a lot of fun with this. I love vintage style quilts, but I'm not a big fan of traditional piecing. I would much rather paper piece. All of these blocks are paper piece. Now, I'm gonna tell you that the borders, these are not paper piece, these are strip piece, but making piano keyboarders is while they look fabulous they're really not hard because it's just strips you're not they're not doing squares or triangles or anything else it's just strip piecing so anyway it's gonna be fun we're gonna have a great time and we will have a version of this quilt finished by the middle of 2017 and then if I'm feeling up to it, I will do another quilt along in the second half of the year. I think that's it for me now, guys. Uh, make sure you stop by Phantom and Stitches tomorrow for uh, Fantastic Beast, hosted by Vanda. She's, she is starting to wrap that up. It's going to be over at the end of December. We will start Labyrinth in January on phantomandstitches.com, and that is a collaborative project with lots of awesome designers. Um, and I clearly have a lot of work to do, so I'm going to let you guys go, and I will see you next week. Bye.